thanks, Jan, but really, you shouldn't. Oh, are you dieting? Don't be ridiculous. People like me cuddly. Well, then. You're always bringing me bamboo. It's not good enough. Would you like something else for a change? Of course not. Pandas eat bamboo, period. Well, then. You, you embarrass me. Fetching and carrying, we have servants to do that. They prefer to be called keepers. We're not in the wild. Do you want people to think you've been foraging? Sorry, dear, I'll take it back. Uh, leave it. Tempted? Putting it back is as bad as fetching it. <gasps> That's better. Be a diva. Show your superiority. What have I got to be superior about? You're my mate. Am I? I only ask because we've never done any actual baiting. It's an honorary position. I'll take any position. Now, now, you know where that would lead. I'm the poster boy for endangered animals. How do it look if we started breeding cubs all over the place? Like a happy family? An ordinary one. We're famous and pampered because there are so few of us. Let's not rock the boat. Oh, I wish you'd rock mine. Oh, we'll have some bamboo. No, thanks. Reminds me of what I'm missing. A privileged lifestyle requires sacrifice. Mmm, I'd love that. What? Well, doesn't animal sacrifice involve being tied up? and eaten. How many times do I have to tell you I only eat bamboo? <sighs> anyway, Ling, that, uh, that logo, it is even you. Of course it's me. No, it was designed before you were born. Well, the first rough draft, but the current version is my physique. Practically a, practically a perfect sphere. Hmm. Well, you spend all your time <sighs> maintaining that image, don't you? My fans expect it. They like me cuddly. Hmm. Well, if they're waiting for a cuddle, I wish them luck. I've expanded heaps lately. It's good for another photo shoot. Oh. Yes, that reminds me, I forgot. There's a couple of visitors outside uh, waiting with cameras. Oh, show them in. Uh, show them in. Um, well, they're a bit weird looking. Yeah, and you can't expect people to be as cute as me. They aren't people. They're birds, I think. You think? like nothing I've ever seen before. Funny looking beaks and hardly any wings. Kiwis? Mm, no, these would make kiwis look like swans. Let's not judge. No matter how ugly the paparazzi are, we rely on them. In. Okay. Well, thanks ever so much for seeing us. Turning up uninvited and all. <laughs> Happens all the time in a zoo. Right. Welcome to our humble abode. What a gorgeous place. Look, Mr. D, a swimming pool. Oh, it's big enough for a whale. <laughs> <laughs> Too kind. It's just the show. We're not aquatic. Oh, well, neither are we. <laughs> Apart from the odd paddle. Now, fess up, Mr. D. We do like the odd paddle, don't we? Oh, true, Mrs. D, true. <laughs> Would you folks mind terribly if we took a few teensy pictures? Oh, 
Go ahead. Uh, just don't ask me to take a dip. <gasps> Wouldn't dream of it. Mm, how's this? Bit to the side, please. It, bit more. In... <sighs> so, you're not penguins then? Good heavens, no. We're dodos. Dodos? Dodos. Thought you were extinct. We were. Yet modern science to the rescue, all they needed was our DNA. Ooh, a new lease on life then. It must be very thrilling for you. Sure is, being so much progress and all. Oh, especially in accommodation. <laughs> to think our ancestors used to scratch around in the dirt. And look at us now. <laughs> oh, we do like the odd bounce, don't we, Mr. D? Oh, we do indeed, Mrs. D. <laughs> right, right, time to leave. No! Don't go just yet. We feel bad enough as it is evicting you out of your former home. Excuse me. Oh, uh, Mrs. D, uh, I don't think they've been officially informed yet. Oh. Ooh. Informed? Well, progress brings an old swag of changes. The World Wildlife Fund wants to capitalise on our success story. They're switching their logo to a dodo. And the house comes with the job. Are you crazy? You! <laughs> On a logo! Have you looked in a mirror? I don't want to be rude, but you're hardly... Uh, hardly... Photogenic! <laughs> oh, we know that. But our chickies will be. <laughs> cute little round faces. Yeah, well, cute little round bodies. Ooh. Round? Pandas have always been the symbol of the conservation movement. Well, even the historical relics have an expiry date. Now, hang on there, Mr. D. No one's talking about expiring, just relocating. I stand corrected, Mrs. D. I'm relocating. <laughs> Where to? Well, um, I heard the word jungle mentioned. Jungle? I heard, um, rainforest. Remember, Mr. D, pandas aren't aquatic. Oh, you're right, Mrs. D, yeah. It, it was definitely jungle. Much drier. Hmm. Back to nature, Ling. Maybe it's just what we need. Oh, well. There's one thing I won't miss about this place. Breakfast. Breakfast? What? You you don't you don't eat breakfast. You eat all day. In the wild, but here, humans feed you what they have for their morning meal. Well, we're partial to fruit, aren't we, Mr. D? Yes. And the odd nut. Eggs. Pardon? You'll get eggs. What like, like reptile eggs? Birds' eggs. Boiled. Poached. Right. Oh dear. Scrambled. Ooh. Humans have no sensitivity. That will hear. They'll beat your offspring for a pulp and then serve it up as an omelette. <laughs> My babies. Did anyone tell you how your ancestors went extinct? <laughs> Climate change. No, oh, please. <laughs> Mr. D, we have to leave now. I'm about to leave. Right. You'll need a place to hide. Where the humans never go. I know. The alligator swamp. Oh, how did we get there? Straight through the tiger enclosure. Yeah. Past the giant pythons. Uh-huh. Turn left at the wolves. We can't thank you enough. Oh, moustache. You. Close call. But we can't afford to be complacent, Yan. We need to change our strategy. Being endangered isn't enough anymore. We have to be a success story. You mean? That mate thing. 
doesn't have to be an honorary position. 